pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. another edition of Swamp Talk. I'm Xavier. And I'm Jacob. During lunch, you may only use the vending machines in the lower cafeteria and patio. You should only use the restrooms in the vocational hallways. Otherwise, you should be in a cafeteria or any authorized area. Students who are planning on taking classes at PHSC should make an appointment to meet with the PHSC advisor and their school counselor in the student services office. These meetings will take place on April 13th and April 27th. Prom is approaching. And this year, the theme is Enchanted Forest. Ticket sales will be sold April 25th to May 5th. They will be sold during 4th, 5th, and 6th lunches in the last 20 minutes and also after school in room 308. The last day of selling on May 5th, prices will jump up to $90. Tonight at 7, there will be a varsity baseball game versus Wesley Chapel. Also, teachers, if you have any news or anything you want to put on the school news, Email Miss LaBarbera. Also, students, if you would like to get anything on the news or anything known, please see Miss LaBarbera in room 902. Also, we are still selling yearbooks, so hurry up and buy one before we run out. Now it's time for short sports. Alright, everyone, welcome to Short Sports. I am Jacob Brown. Today I'm going to talk about the NFL, Major League Baseball, and the NHL, starting with the NFL. And I have some horrible news. Tony Romo has retired from the NFL and will now be starting a career in broadcasting with CBS. This was a move that was quite unexpected because beginning the offseason, you either thought Romo was going to be released or traded and end up going to Houston or Denver, but none of that happened. Now moving on to Major League Baseball, the Tampa Bay Rays have gotten off to a 2-1 and one start on the season. Now since I filmed this on Thursday, this is before their Blue Jays game on Thursday night, but as of today, as of filming this, they did beat the Yankees two out of three games. Their pitching looked great. Archer pitched fantastically on opening day. And now moving on to the NHL, some crushing news for Tampa Bay Lightning fans. But music to my ears, the Tampa Bay Lightning will not be making the playoffs this year. And what I look for from the Lightning going into next year, this is what happened with the New York Rangers and the Los Angeles Kings over recent years. When these teams don't make the playoffs, they have some extra off time going into the next season. So now the Lightning, instead of having two or three months off, they're going to have four or five months off going into next season. So they're going to be nice and fresh, especially Steven Stamkos, who was essentially out for this entire season with injury. And for this edition of Short Sports, I'm Jacob Brown, and we'll see you next time. And that's it for today, guys. Tune in next time for another edition of Swamp Talk. <laughs>